everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Savvier School Live. My name is Kimberly Woods, and I am really excited today because we are bringing on a super special guest today. Hello, Sarah, and hello, Rozzy. We are so pleased to have you here. So thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having us, Kimberly. Rozzy was very excited to get to share from the student's perspective what her online learning has looked like for the last few months. Yes, and I think this is really important for us to check in with the students, to get feedback from them as we're reflecting on this school year, as crazy and chaotic as it was as we shifted to home learning, and reflect on what worked and what didn't work. So we're gonna talk through this with Rozzy today. And if you are joining us for today's show, I wanna remind you, that we love to connect with you guys. So go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Say hello, we'd love to say hello back. And any resources we share on today's show, we will be linking to in the comments here on Facebook and also on Zoom. So Sarah, take it away. Let's start talking about what home learning has looked like for Rozzy and then we'll ask Rozzy some questions. Awesome. So right now I'm sharing the screen of what Rozzy was assigned sort of every day. And so this is uh, for Tuesday, May 5th from her teacher. She had an amazing second grade teacher. And uh, you can see that we basically have an opening video and then we have a list of tasks to do. And so Rosalind, can you kind of walk through what your daily uh, schedule looked like and what you liked about it? Well, the most, the most things I liked about it was, I liked that there was um, like, a opening video to tell us a reminder for the day, things like that. And then I also liked about it was we had like 15 minutes of reading every day and then maybe 15 minutes of a writing assignment or a reading assignment or a math assignment. And so yeah. here we have the opening video from your teacher and then we have a very specific different video on writing because they were working on an opinion uh, piece of writing. Uh, and so then they had an assignment to do with their writing. And I love how we have very clear steps uh, and not overwhelming, good size font. Uh, then we, you answered a discussion question. And then we have lots of different online ways to, to access our learning. And so there was a gravity video for your science. Uh, and then there was ST math or scoop ped math. So that was their math assignment for the day. And then you were to read books uh, of your choice for 15 minutes. And then your teacher was reading uh, a chapter book for you. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I have a couple of questions for you guys. So is this something that was emailed to you every day or you would just log into Canvas or like Google Classroom and find this? Well, what I did was I logged into Canvas with my- um, School account. Yeah, my school account. Okay. And I um, just got in and I pressed the one for the day. And then I also had my um, usually I had my um, reading teacher and uh -huh. my and a special teacher yeah like um, gym or um, music so Rosie doesn't have a special every day that was required to post but in yep. the daily tasks for the day if there was something that she had to do for music or for Matt or for um, PE or art it would be listed in the staff so we didn't have to remember that Thursday was PE day, um, Rozzy's teacher would give us a reminder. Now, don't forget to go over to your PE teacher and see what you have to do for that. Uh, but Rozzy also has a special reading teacher. And what did you like about your reading teacher's assignments for each day? Well, what I liked about them was, so we have a, a reading page about an insect or a bug or an animal. And then there was a bunch of questions that you got to answer. You could print it out or you could just read it. And me and my mom like to just read it. On the computer. Yeah, and I just read a sentence and then my mom read a sentence. And then it was like, um, use a yellow crayon to highlight blah, blah, blah. And I liked like pulling out my imaginary crayon and highlighting it. And so we did all the tasks that we were supposed to do on a real piece of paper. We would just click the purple crayon and then we would highlight what we were being asked in the text. And then we would pick out the other color crayon and highlight what we were being asked. 
And then the final question was usually a longer question. So well, there was three um, questions, like a highline question, and then there was usually a writing question, or I had flowers, and you had to name the parts of the flower. And so we would just say that out loud rather than yeah. writing it down. Awesome. How long a day do you think this would take you to go through all your school stuff, Rosie? I would say about an hour and 40 minutes. Okay. That's and I thought that was very reasonable. And what I really liked about our district was that each teacher was required to do an opening video each day. So we got to see the teacher's face. We got to see what was happening. Uh, but my yeah. son, who's a little older, um, depending on the teacher, we could also... For example, if we were running late and we didn't have time to watch the opening video, I love having these very clear steps. So yeah. I love the personal connections with the teacher and that's what we try to do every day. But if for whatever reason we couldn't, we have the steps both written as well as oral. I agree. I think video is such a great way to still connect with people in this time. And a simple little video like this is all it takes to do it and I think it's really smart that her teacher was incorporating this into the you know weekday schedule for all of them um uh, another thing I want to point out to some of you guys here on the live is if you're looking for some additional resources to pull together for students as we're entering summer and maybe you're pulling together some summer learning kits we have a bunch of resources over on Sadlier's website we have a whole resource center filled with activities, lesson plans, tip sheets for ELA. So that means vocabulary, grammar, closed reading, phonics, and math. And I'm going to link to those in the chat here. If you go to that resource center, you'll see that all of these resources are free for you to use. And in addition to that, we have some digital resources as well over on Sadly or Connect. So I'm gonna be dropping a link to both of those in the chat here on the live show. Um, okay, so Rosie, we had a few questions for you. Sarah, I don't know if you wanna stop your screen share real quick. You got it, Ross. Um, so I think you kind of already mentioned on here what some of your favorite things were, right? About the day. So what would your advice be to your teacher? say um in a video um tell your teacher your i mean students. your students um teach your own class or teach an imaginary class Ooh. and um i have a bin because i do my own class and uh -huh. it's just a bin of reading things i do i have some um poetry words and some sight words and some words I wrote and then some different things that I've gotten or someone gave me mm -hmm. and I would just say it would be good for a kid to maybe teach what they've learned so it would be like they would remember it or they could write it down and then the other kid or the imaginary kid would be like and you could speak for them it would be like, oh that's super cool or <laughs> so what do you like about teaching uh, your lessons over to your imaginary class? Because you're making your own videos and you're talking about some of the things that your teacher does. So does that help you remember? I would say it pretty much does. Um, yeah. So I really like that. And I also like, since I have a desk, I can just do it on my desk and be like, or I could do it on my upstairs desk or I could do it on my downstairs desk, depending on if my brother's walking or if I'm walking, depending on that. So I really like to have two desks to use. And my upstairs one is smaller, but that doesn't really matter. Right. It's, I mean, it's just still a desk. So yeah. multiple work centers. Well, yes, okay, I love this. So a couple things came to mind as you were saying this, Rosie. One, you are being very creative in your learning and creativity is going to really help you fall in love with your learning more. And two, the fact that you're repeating what your teacher has taught you is a great way for you to practice what you have learned. And so I love this idea and I am actually going to do this for my daughters because I love that you've taken the time to set up centers for reading and that you have different workspaces and that you're getting creative. So this is a great piece of advice. 
And I think it's a great thing for kids to think about setting up as we go into summer and we try to continue learning. So any other parting words, Rozzy, that you want to say for us today? Um, nothing that comes to my mind. Well, thank you so much for being here on the show. We appreciate you coming on. You were a great special guest. And Sarah, thanks for being here as well. And we will be back on tomorrow at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific. And we hope that you all can join us. Thank you so much, Rosie and Sarah. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.